Hey, bachcha party. Everyone's good. Children, are you all practicing all the worksheets and watching all the videos? I know you all are very obedient children, right? Now, today we are going to do English. First, let's recall fast the five vowels, which are there? A, E, I, O, U. In the last video, you had started with U sound words. That is B U N B U N, G U N G U N, and S U N S U N, along with U N rhyming words. And what were they? Yes, B U N B U N, F U N F U N, G U N G U N, R U N G U N, S U N S U N. And now today we are going to do few more U sound words. So are you all ready, children? But first, tell me what does U say? Yes, U says U. Oh. Again, what does U say? U says U. Oh. Kids, let's learn U sound words along with U T words. What is the first picture? Yes, it's a hut. Children, have you seen a hut? Yes, a hut is a very small kacha house. Do you know what is kacha house? Kacha house means very weak. They are not as strong as the houses in which we live, and it has only one or two rooms in it. A hut is mainly made up of mud, mud yani gilli mitti, straw, straw yani. dry grass bamboo yani lakdi or stones and it is usually found in villages got it children now children see this is a nut it is a dry fruit and a nut has a hard outer covering which cannot be eaten but if you break it you find that there are some edible seeds inside it edible means which can be eaten so you can eat those seeds and there are many different kinds of nuts like peanuts almonds cashew nuts pistachios walnuts hazelnuts and many more and children a nut is a healthy snack mama must be giving you in the morning right so you should eat these nuts because they are very healthy children look who is it yes it's a squirrel and it likes to eat a nut can you see now kids we'll start with a u sound words and which is the first picture yes it's a hut let's learn the spelling h u t hut h says h u says a uh. t says t h a uh, t hut h u t hut again h u t hut now our next picture yes it's a nut n u t nut n says n u says a uh. t says t n a uh, t nut n u t nut again n u t nut got it children children along with hut and nut we have two more words and that is but and cut first let me explain you what is but but is a connecting word and it connects two opposite sentences is to connect contrasting ideas but means lekin kintu par and in gujarati we say pan so how will you connect this in sentence now here your mama is asking you to study and here you are playing so how will you connect these two so mama will tell you beta ja ke padhai karo aur aap kya bologe lekin mama maine to abhi abhi khelna shuru kiya hai so that lekin is but and how will you make the sentence in english your mama is asking you to study and you what will you say but mama i have just started to play please let me play for some time so that is but got it children and children now cut what is cut cut means it is to tear or divide something apart into pieces for example a fruit or a paper to get a desired shape by using a sharp edge tool like the knife or a pair of scissors got it children and children by playing when you fall down you get a cut in your hand or in your legs then you start crying that is also a cut the wound is called a cut now children let's learn ut rhyming words b u t but b says b u says a uh. T says T, B A T, but next C U T cut. C says K, U says A, T says T, 
क अ ट क नाव एच यु टी हट एच सेस ह यू सेस अ टी सेस ट ह अ ट हट नाव लास्ट एन यु टी नट एन सेस न यु सेस अ टी सेस ट न अ ट नट Kids, did you all notice that in this also the last two letters are same and the first letter is changed? That is U T in all the words. So we got a U T rhyming words. B at but, K at cut, H at hut, N at nut. So now let's revise all these rhyming words along with action. So ready, kids? Children, you all will have to repeat after me. Okay, U T rhyming words, B U T but, C U T cut, H U T hut, N U T nut. Now, one more time, U T rhyming words, B U T but, C U T cut, H U T hut, N U T nut. Now it's writing time. U sound words. Let's begin with our first spelling. That is H U T hut. Now let's draw the picture. Draw a slanting curve like this. Then draw opposite slanting line crossing the first line and join it with a curve. And down also join it with some curves. And from here draw some slanting lines touching the curves. Got it? And here also draw some lines. Now draw a standing line. Another standing line and join it with a sleeping line. And from here, draw opposite U curve and two circles like this. Draw two small slanting lines on both the sides. And this is a hut. Leave five lines for writing five times. Now, next spelling N U T nut. Leave some space. Now, let's draw a nut. Draw some upper curves like this and join it with lower curves. And inside, draw two sleeping lines and cut it with slanting lines. Again, two sleeping lines and cut it with slanting lines. Draw two small circles and write this five times. And this is how you have to practice it in your book. Now, children, do practice the spellings along with its pictures in your book at your home. Bye.